This dua has been taught by Imam Sajjad salam and is a clear indication of the loftiness of moral virtues expected of a believer. Islam believes in the elevation of the human being, that a human is a great and dignified creation, far above the animal world. One of the signs of this dignity is the possession of noble and magnanimous qualities. In order to achieve this behavioral excellence, man needs to overcome his base and selfish attributes and cultivate noble qualities. In this dua, the imam specifies these qualities and shows how we can try to inculcate them in ourselves. Taken as a lesson in akhlaq, the dua is a wonderful program for those who wish to excel in good manners. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the All-Compassionate. O Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Cause my faith to reach the most perfect faith. Make my certainty the most excellent certainty. And take my intentions to the best of intentions and my works to the best of works. O Allah, complete my intention through your gentleness. Rectify my certainty through what is with you and set right what is corrupt in me through your power. O Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Spare me the concerns which distract me. Employ me in that about which you will ask me tomorrow and let me pass my days in that for which you have created me. Free me from need and expand your provision towards me. And tempt me not with ingratitude, exalt me and afflict me not with pride. Make me worship you and corrupt not my worship with self-admiration. Let good flow out from my hands upon the people and efface it not by my making them feel obliged. Give me the highest moral traits and preserve me from vainglory. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Raise me not a single degree before the people without lowering me in it myself. And bring about no outward exaltation for me without an inward abasement in myself to the same measure. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and Muhammad's household. Give me to enjoy a sound guidance which I seek not to replace. A path of truth from which I swerve not and an intention of right conduct in which I have no doubts. Let me live as long as my life is a free gift in being you. But if my life should become a pasture for shaitan, seize me to yourself before your hatred overtakes me or your wrath against me becomes firm. O Allah, deposit in me no quality for which I will be faulted unless you set it right. No flaw for which I will be blamed unless you make it beautiful, and no deficient noble trait unless you complete it. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and Muhammad's household, and replace for me the animosity of the people of hatred with love, the envy of the people of insolence with affection, the suspicion of the people of righteousness with trust, the enmity of those close with friendship, the disrespect of womb relatives with devotion, the abandonment of relatives with help, the attachment of flatterers with love set right, the rejection of fellows with generous friendliness, and the bitterness of the fear of wrongdoers with the sweetness of security. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Appoint for me a hand against him who wrongs me, a tongue against him who disputes with me, and a victory over him who stubbornly resists me. Give me guile against him who schemes against me, power over him who oppresses me, refutation of him who reviles me, and safety from him who threatens me. Grant me success to obey him who points me straight, 
and follow him who guides me right. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household, and point me straight to resist him who is dishonest towards me without counsel. Repay him who separates from me with gentle devotion. Reward him who deprives me with free giving. Recompense him who cuts me off with joining. Oppose him who slanders me with excellent mention. Give thanks for good and shut my eyes to evil. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Adorn me with the adornment of the righteous and clothe me in the ornaments of the God-fearing through spreading justice, restraining rage, quenching the flame of hate, bringing together the people of separation, correcting discord, spreading about good behavior, covering faults, mildness of temper, lowering the wing, beauty of conduct, gravity of bearing, agreeableness in comportment, precedence in reaching excellence, preferring bounteousness, refraining from condemnation, bestowing bounty on the undeserving, speaking the truth though it be painful, making little of the good in my words and deeds though it be much, and making much of the evil in my words and deeds though it be little, perfect this for me through lasting obedience, holding fast to the community, and rejecting the people of innovation and those who act in accordance with original opinions. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household, appoint for me your widest provision in my old age, and your strongest strength when I am exhausted, and try me not with laziness in worship of you, blindness towards your path, undertaking what opposes love for you, joining with him who has separated himself from you, and separating from him who has joined himself to you. O oh Allah, make me leap to you in times of distress, ask from you in need, and plead to you in misery. Tempt me not to seek help from other than you when I am distressed, to humble myself in asking from someone else when I am poor or to plead with someone less than you when I fear. For then I would deserve your abandonment, your withholding and your turning away, O most merciful of the merciful. O Allah, make the wishing, the doubt and the envy which shaitan throws into my heart a remembrance of your mightiness, a reflection upon your power and a devising against your enemy. Make everything he causes to pass over my tongue, the indecent or ugly words, the maligning of good repute, the false witness, the speaking ill of an absent man of faith, or the reviling of one present, and all things similar. A speech in praise of you, a persuasion of eulogizing you, an excursion in magnifying you, a thanksgiving for your favor, an acknowledgement of your beneficence, and an enumeration of your kindness. O Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Let me not be wronged while you can repel from me. Let me not do wrong while you are powerful over holding me back. Let me not be misguided while you are able to guide me. Let me not be poor while with you is my plenty. Let me not be insolent while from you comes my wealth. O oh Allah, I come to your forgiveness, I go straight to your pardon, I yearn for your forbearance, and I trust in your bounty. But there is nothing with me to make me warrant but your forgiveness, nothing in my works to make me merit but your pardon, and nothing on my behalf after I judge my soul but your bounty. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. O oh Allah, bestow your bounty upon me. Make my speech be guidance. Inspire me with reverential fear. Give me success in that which is most pure. And employ me in what is most pleasing to you. O oh Allah, let me tread the most exemplary path. And make me live and die in your creed. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. 
give me to enjoy moderation, make me into one of the people of right behavior, the proofs of right conduct, and the servants of righteousness, and provide me with triumph at the place of return, and safety from the ambush. O oh Allah, take to yourself from my soul what will purify it, and leave for my soul that of my soul that will set it right, for my soul will perish unless you preserve it. O oh Allah, you are my stores when I sorrow, you are my recourse when I am deprived, from you I seek aid when troubled, and with you is a substitute for everything gone by, a correction for everything corrupted, a change from everything you approve. So show kindness to me with well-being before affliction, wealth before asking, right conduct before misguidance, suffice me against the burden of shame to toward the servants. Give me security on the day of return and grant me excellent right guidance. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Repel from me through your gentleness. Feed me through your favor. Set me right through your generosity. Heal me through your benefaction. Shade me in your shelter. Wrap me in your good pleasure and give me success to reach the most guided of affairs when affairs confuse me, the purest of works when works seem similar, and the most pleasing to you of creeds when creeds conflict. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household, crown me with sufficiency, place in me excellent guardianship, gift me to guide correctly, tempt me not with plenty, grant me excellent ease, make not my life toil and trouble, and refuse not my supplication and rejection, for I make none rival to you, and I supplicate none with you as equal. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household, hold me back from prodigality, Fortify my provision against ruin, increase my possessions through blessing them, and set me upon the path of guidance through piety in what I spend. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household, and spare me the burden of earning. Provide for me without reckoning, lest I be distracted from your worship through seeking, and carry the load of earnings ill results. O oh Allah, bestow upon me what I seek through your power, and grant me sanctuary from what I fear through your might. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household, save my face through ease, and demean not my dignity through neediness, lest I seek provision from those whom you have provided, and ask for bestowal from the worst of your creatures, and then I would be tried by praising him who gave to me afflicted with blaming him who held back from me, while you, not they, are patron of giving and holding back. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household, and provide me with soundness in worship, detachment in renunciation, knowledge put into action, and abstinence in measure. O oh Allah, seal my term with your pardon, verify my expectation in hoping for thy mercy, smooth my paths to reach your good pleasure, and make my works good in all my states. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his household. Incite me to remember you in times of heedlessness. Employ me in your obedience in days of disregard. Open a smooth road for me to your love, and complete for me thereby the good of this world and the next. O oh Allah, and bless Muhammad and his household, the best you have blessed any of your creatures before him and will bless any of them after him, and give to us in this world good, and in the next world good, and protect me through your mercy from the chastisement of the fire. You are powerful over everything, and that is easy for you. Sadaqallahu al-Ali al-Azim Now, please pray to Allah to grant you your personal requests, and they will inshallah be granted. According to the narration mentioned in Mahaj ad dawat one must say the supplication while being in a state of ritual purity. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samil alim. Sadaqallahu al-aliyu al-azim.